Hello everyone, Midori here and welcome back to my channel. This is She Knows Vinos. For those of you who don't know, Vinos means wines in Spanish. Today we're going to be testing cat wine. Look at how cute and little this bottle is. Wine especially for cats and this is called Moscato. And it's really cute. It's a very little bottle. Um, and I just wanted to do a video on this and talk about it and have my cats test it out, see if they liked it. A bit more about the wine, for the, the cat wine, for those of you who are curious. Um, it is not actually wine or alcohol. Um, it has very few ingredients in it. The ingredients are water, catnip, beet juice, and sea salt. It's mostly catnip in liquid form. Uh, I think it's a really great idea. The packaging and the marketing is super cute. It's a little bit pricey because I think that you can, you just pour one bottle at a time into a bowl, so it's kind of a one-off treat, but for a special occasion or to put in your cat's like Christmas stocking or for your cat's birthday, or um, I think it's a really fun thing to try. I checked out the website and uh, the company's called, that makes this is called Apollo Peak. They are in Colorado. Oh, so the really funny thing is that they have a CFO, which is the Chief Feline Officer. And I thought that was so cute. It's actually their cat named Apollo and the company's name is Apollo Peak. So I purchased the Moscato wine because that's the one that I could get my hands on um, pretty quickly. But they have other um, flavors, other varietals, if you will. They have white Kittendel, which is like white Zinfandel. They have Pinot Meow, like Pinot Noir. They have the Moscato, which is the one that I have. Um, they have the Meow Tini, the Meow Mosa, the Meow Gorita, and the Cat Bernay. So right now you're going to meet the test subjects. This is Zuzu. Zuzu is actually a bit of a cat dog. She really likes playing fetch. Probably one of her favorite things to do. Um, she also knows several tricks. She can roll over for a treat. She can also go up on her hind legs for a treat. Uh, she can do a little spin. She knows a lot of tricks. She can also sometimes catch a treat in the air. She's a pretty... Uh, Pretty talented lady. Um, so she's one of our test subjects. Yeah, you're not very happy about being held right now. She'd like to get away now. And then our other test subject is my cat, Tootsie. That's spelled T-O-O-T-S-I-E. It's not Tootsie, it's Tootsie. And she is so sweet, so gentle. Um, definitely more of a, um, a lazy, more cat-like cat, unlike Zuzu, who's like a dog. Let me see if I can grab little Toot. I think she might come over for a treat. My cats love these feline greenies dental treats catnip flavor. Um, they That's how they learn to do all their tricks. They'll basically do anything for these. All right, so I finally got my hands on, on Tootsie. She's a little bit bigger lady, but she's still pretty small. So this is Tootsie, and again, she likes to sleep and relax. She's a little camera shy. But she's a super soft and snuggly kitty. This little little fluffness on her chest is so, so super soft. It's maybe the softest, softest thing I've ever felt in my life. I love it. I love you. So now you've met the test subjects, Tootsie and Zuzu, and now we're ready to give the wine uh, a go and have them try it. So I'm going to bring the camera down on their level. I'm going to put the, the cat wine into their food dish and see how interested they are. Then I'll show you, so I'll show you a little bit of that footage next. And then at the end, I'll come back and tell you what I thought. All right, here we go. Okay, so we just got finished testing out the product. Um, I think it was a mm, medium success. Uh, they definitely were interested, no doubt. They also are pretty much always interested if I put something in their food dish. So 
that may have been part of it. However, Tootsie kind of stuck her nose in it, kind of licked on it. So there was definitely some interest. I'm going to leave it out and see if they continue to enjoy it. Um, I did want to comment uh, as I was pouring it out for them. I gave it a little smell. There's like t still a tiny little bit in there. And it smells very earthy and very beady. It smells like a beet, like beet juice, basically. <laughs> I would say if you got some extra cash to burn, you want to have some fun with your cats, pick this up. Um, if not, just get some of these. These are, are awesome. They're not cat wine, catnip wine, <laughs> but um, these are delicious and I can't recommend them more. Feline Greenies catnip flavor. These are awesome. Um, this is pretty good too. I really want to support this company. I think that they're doing something that's really fun and unique. All right, I think we're gonna wrap it up. So Tootsie says bye. Oh, your her paw is still soaking wet from putting it into the into the catnip juice, into the cat wine. Excuse me. So Tootsie says bye, and I'll get Zuzu, and she'll say bye too. So other our other little test subject, giving her a treat. Um, she wasn't as big a fan of it, but maybe since she's more like a like a dog, we need to get her the dog wine. She really doesn't want to be held right now. <laughs> All right, everyone, I hope you had fun with this. I know I certainly did. Um, I always really love doing fun things with my kitty cats, like t teaching them how to do tricks and other stuff like that. Um, it's one of my other favorite loves besides wine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and let me know if you've uh, tried cat wine for your cats as well. Bye. Bye.